Hey guys, it's Ryan here and welcome to a, another guitar tutorial. We're about to rock this tutorial out. Okay, so how to rock and roll. I'm gonna give you four steps, four things, not four steps, it's not four steps because it means you gotta do one off the other one. These are four things that you can do to make um, your riff sound rockish. And the first one I cannot currently do because I have a acoustic guitar. But I think you'll understand what I'm saying. Every guitar riff must have distortion. All right, distortion is just that thing that gives it power. Uh, not only that, but it um, it drives it. And it's if if, you, if I just play a guitar by itself over a rock tune, or even just a listen to that. There's nothing rockish about that. But if I add distortion to that, it's gonna sound way way cooler so must have distortion all right if uh first of all obviously you need a electric guitar not an acoustic guitar my electric guitar guitar is not here on 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 these premises so therefore yeah i i, I would like to demonstrate that but you can basically you don't have to buy a whole effects rack if, if you don't have that kind of money what you're able to do is actually just go look for those what's called uh, stomp boxes you know, uh, Boss has those nice little, nice little. Uh, um, you get distortion, you get overdrive, you get all sorts of uh, different types of distortion. Go, go find yourself an overdrive pedal. I think it's still a yellow pedal. Am I right? The Boss yellow pedal overdrive. Or if you're more into like picking and lead pieces, then go get the orange pedal, which is like a a distortion pedal. On there, you can adjust distortion, overdrive, gain, etc. Go check for that. The second thing is that every rock riff, right, must um, must come out of, well, not, it, it's not that it must, but you can use what's called a power chord. Now, what is a power chord, okay? A power chord is basically, so we've obviously learned a lot about different kind of chords, but over here, all I'm playing is two strings, right? And it's usually your, um, your root note, so whichever note you're playing, and the fifth, okay? Whether um, and often it's it's not more than that. Even if you drive this, it's gonna sound very cool. All right, all right. The the thing to keep um, to pay attention to is that even when you want to play your E, you would play your E like that. So E string, A string, uh, finger on my second fret second fret of my E and A, so when you have distortion on it, that's enough right there. Okay, something else to pay attention to. So you do get the bar chord, you can do that as well. All right, it will then it will fill the chord a lot more. So I could be going over here on my E, I could be um, putting my fingers on second. So imagine that's the E. Imagine that's the E over there. So therefore I would just need to do that or you can do that. It will sound a lot more fuller, a lot more filling, very awesome. That now is your bar chord or your power chord, doesn't make a difference. You want to do your A, that's over there. So imagine on my A string, uh, I'm doing that, but I don't need to do this. I've only got these two, same thing. Or All right. And then also to take note that with a bar chord, that is your standard, um, yeah, structure. Sorry, I'm not American. Yeah, 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 structure. <laughs> Yeah, structure when you move your root note down to your a string same structure use this your middle finger some people they get in the habit of doing this use that finger to support um, your your root note over there now when you move down to your D string that your root note is on your D string which is your third string this pinky needs to move up all right go check out the theory it's first fifth first again and then once you go down even your fifth will move up and that's what you'll get so all right so there it is third thing is that 
your rock riff to make it more rockish all right um add some palm muting into it and that's exactly what i was doing right now now i've taught on the thing of palm muting and that is that um you got to find your place to literally use all of that 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 meat over there on your hand <laughs> right over there okay god given meat on your hand over there and you can use that just to uh lightly press on your strings all right and when you shift it down or up you will find that um it the tone changes so if i've got it closer to this right your your bridge over here now as i as i bring it in it gets a lot more data obviously because it doesn't vibrate as much you you deaden the vibration depends on what you're doing you can even go depends on what you're looking for when you put the distortion on you'll hear the difference or perhaps you're going for a bit more of a tone to okay find that place palm muting and then the last and the fourth thing is and um this might be a bit contradictual to what i teach because i usually i teach a lot of alternate picking i believe that it's a, um it, it it makes it more effortless when you are able to palm muting but most rock riffs are downstroke man why because it gives that aggressive feel right listen to the difference so it's a uh, it, it definitely gives a feel all right you don't go okay even if you can't get it right but there you go so first thing is what is it out of the four things i'm buying time now to remember what my first item was first thing is uh yeah yeah okay four things are my goodness here we go four th four things of a creating a beautiful rock riff is that uh well what the we'll just go through all of them all right the first thing is that uh bar chords well one of those four things is bar chords the second thing is that uh, palm muting Another thing with a rough, oh yes, there you go. Bar chord or power chord. And then the last thing is downstrokes. All right, I think I've mentioned all of them there. So guys, rock it out. See you guys in the next video. And don't forget to like, give us a rumble, or whether it's a flame, either way, because you like this video, right? And then as, oh yes, distortion, man. And of course, every rock beat must have a distortion. So I just remembered all of them. And of course, uh, yeah, share this video. Till then, cheers, guys.